Boy, howdy, that sure is a lot of animal. It's about the best I've seen. Don't tell them our name's Barkley or the price is gonna go up. Well, uh, he's a looker, all right. I'll give you that, McGowan. Look here, son. Can't hardly buy an animal as fair as that for less. If you're aiming to dicker me down... $300 and nod of your head and you got yourself a deal. $300. We'll pay for the shipping, save you the cost. I, I might consider $325. $300, not a penny more. $300 it is, then. You got the money? In gold. All right, Rodrigo, bring him out. You got a bill of sale. A bill of... About that, I feel plumb foolish. I'm fresh out. I've been doing a lot of business since I started placing ads. Well, any piece of paper with your name on it will do just fine. No, no, no. We made a proper deal, and you're entitled to a proper receipt. Wouldn't hear of it any other way. I tell you what. I'll have my foreman, Rodrigo, ride into town. He can pick up a couple of sales forms. Well, that'd be just fine, except waiting for Rodrigo to make us late for that catalog auction we're heading for. Hmm. I tell you what. I'll have him catch up to you on the trail with it. That'll be fine with me. And it's settled? They're very considerate, McGowan. My pleasure. Him for a minute. They'll have to take the old Campbell trail. Go tell Sheriff Barnes he's got a couple of customers. Yes, sir. sale by noon tomorrow. Either the railhead and Brazos by sundown. We can ship the old boy out from there. Well, it's pushing a little bit, isn't it? What's your hurry? No, oh, mostly selfish, I expect. I hear they got some good cooks in Brazos. Well, what's wrong with them beans? Now, you've gone through a half a dish of yours already. You got the guts to ask me that? Just give me a cup of coffee, help ease the pain. Well, go on, poor. I've been through drought and flood in five years. Of Close enough for a handgun. If they're Apache, they're gonna save ammunition. If they're Apache, we wouldn't have heard them. They'll come in on both sides. Ready? Sneaking up on a man in the middle of the night, I wouldn't call that too friendly. But just that we had to be sure. Of what? That you wouldn't go to shoot first chance you had. Now, uh, give up them guns, eh? As soon as we can see plain that you're the sheriff. Now, you walk in real slow-like and 
freeze your gun hand. Well, now, I'm glad you're being so sensible. Be a pity if men died over so little now, wouldn't it? I trouble you for those guns now. Sheriff, I got a strong feeling you're mistaking us for somebody else. Oh, no mistake. No mistake. Now, boys, we've gone this far without any bloodshed. Let's keep it that way, huh? Now, Sheriff, I'm ordering you to surrender those weapons. Now, what is all this about? That bull you got staked out over there. Rancher named McGowan reported him stolen. Oh, he did. Well, he's lying or he's drunk or both. We paid good money oh, for that. You paid for him, did you? In gold. Oh, you got proof of that? Well, not exactly. No. No bill of sale? Well, he didn't have any on hand. Oh, come now. Man who moves as much cattle as Mr. McGowan? Well, maybe you got some other record of a deal, like a back of well, an envelope or something. shook hands on it. You dirty saddle tramp, you. No, 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 wait a minute. We've been on the trail a week, week and a half. We probably look it. But we're not tramps. We're the Barclays. Heath and Nick Barkley of Stockton, California. Your name and where you come from don't prove nothing. Now, look, we're on a cattle buying trip. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Riley, we did some business with him. I have a receipt. Here. I am not interested. It's proof of what I'm saying. The one has nothing to do with the other. You can fetch up a hundred receipts if you want to. But if the name of Mr. McGowan doesn't appear on one of them, I am not interested. Rodrigo, don't fetch that bull home. Wait a minute, Rodrigo, he's McGowan's foreman. He said he would bring us the bill of sale. Was that right? Rodrigo, any truth in that? No, senor. I've never seen them before in my life. Now, I don't want to hear any more palaver out of either one of you. Get along, Rodrigo. I think you better hold it right there, Rodrigo. <laughs> You all right? I think so. Now, before anyone really gets hurt, let's go. His leg. His leg needs dressing. There'll be a doctor where you're going. Now get mounted. Captain. Bring them in. Two new men, Captain Ridley. If you'll sign for them, eh? Expected to read your mind, Sheriff? Oh, 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 they, they, they rustled the steer. They say the name's Barkley. Peterson. Hey, serial number 370 is open, sir. He died of the fever a while back. 597 is also open. Assign them. No, 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 wait a minute. You accuse us of stealing that bull? All right, accuse us in a court of law, we can tell our side. Peterson, I don't remember giving 370 permission to speak. No, sir. <laughs> Why he just ask a question? Prisoners do not speak without first obtaining permission. Prisoners do not argue with their superiors. Prisoners, if they wish to survive their period of confinement, think and do exactly what they are told. How's a man to know if he can speak without getting a belly full of splinters? By requesting permission in the following manner. Sir, permission to speak. I'm sorry I asked. Take them away. Wait. Permission to speak. Sir. 
permission to speak, sir. Granted. Now, when do we get a chance to tell our side? When the circuit judge comes to town, you'll be taken there under arrest, accused of your crime, and brought back here to serve your term of imprisonment. When does the judge get here? Approximately two months. Two months? Look, putting aside the fact that this whole thing is a pack of lies, even if we were guilty, we'd be entitled to stay in the regular town jail for trial. Awaiting trial in the regular town jail, you'd accomplish no useful purpose. Well, purpose? That's our right. You dare to speak about rights? What about Mr. McGowan's right to be protected against the abuse of thieves? Nobody mentioned his name. How did you know it was McGowan's livestock? Peterson! Come on. Thank <laughs> you.